Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making the mini map. So let's go ahead and load into a place here. It's going to go and load into a flat terrain world. So before we get started, I just want to say, if you guys have not subscribed or liked this video, go and do it now. And then if you don't like it, go and comment why you didn't like it. And just let me know, you know, what I can change about the video. So let's go and get... Okay, so once you're into Roblox Studio, we're gonna go and insert an object. And let's go and insert the folder. Let's go and insert a folder. Now this folder's name is going to be current map. Okay, so what this folder is, is anything inside of this folder is going to be, anything inside of this folder is going to appear in the mini map. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just insert a part. I'm going to make this a base plate. Now, the mini map does not work for terrain. You're going to have to, I'll figure out a way for the terrain to work. But in this video, the mini map does not include terrain. So we're going to go and add actually a basement. I don't know why I picked flat terrain. Let's go and add a base plate. Did I say basement? Sorry. Let's go and add a base plate. Uh, let's go and make it like grass kind of thing. Make it like, like green. And let's go and make it anchored. And can't collide. Awesome. So we have that. Let's go and just add a spawn. Uh, let's go to model. Let's go and insert a spawn, right? So we have our spawn point. So this is where we're going to spawn. And then we're just going to add some more objects. Now I'm just adding random objects so that way you can like see the what I'm doing through the mini map. I cannot click this model. I do apologize if you can hear my computer fans, but you shouldn't be able to. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add like a wooden crate or something. Awesome. So let's get started making the mini map. So what you have to do first is put all of your objects in that you want to show. This kind of works like a culling mask. If you don't know what that is, it's like, um, it's basically you put whatever you want inside the camera inside of a specific container and that way it'll show in the camera i want the spawn location military canvas wood crate and base plate to all show in my mini map so we're going to go and insert a base part now this base part is going to be the size of the mini map so we're going to go and make this base part 2d so i'm going to go ahead and make it pretty much like a square if you do want a circular mini map you're gonna have to place a another block or another cylinder and then make a union out of that if you guys want that uh, get this video to about 15 likes and I'll drop that video also going to be making a zombie survival type of deal game uh, game series game creation series so stay tuned for that so we're gonna go and name this mini map now the spelling is very important capital m minimap and go ahead and make this so let's go ahead and once we have this let's go and make it a model awesome and we need to name this minimap awesome now we need to go down to the sur starter gui insert a surface gui name of that does not matter we're going to go and insert a viewport frame and when we insert a viewport frame, so this is acts like a 2D, 3D rendering, kind of like a render texture. And we're going to go ahead and set the, let's go ahead and set the surface GUI, Adorni. Adorni is what it renders off of. Let's go ahead and set the Adorni to the actual minimap itself. So I'm going to go ahead and find the Adorni. I'm going to go ahead and click this minimap awesome and once we have that we're gonna go ahead to light influence turn that to zero it's because we don't want any light to hit it and reset on spawn is fine archivable is fine pixels per stud is fine as well and the face is going to be top because we're gonna have the top of this so you'll see this so you're, what you're gonna have to do is you might have to rescale 
the mini map, but um, I'll be we'll be sure to do that in a bit. So it's okay if you see that surface shoe I pop up there. All good, all good. Uh, don't worry, that's not going to be the actual size of it. It'll all rescale in the script. I'm going to insert a local script. Now go, the cool thing about this is there's only one script for the whole mini map. So that's awesome. So actually, before we do get coding on this script, we're going to insert this mini map into the replicated storage. Made that move. And now when we begin coding, we're going to say local player equals game get service. And make sure to hit my Kickstarter below. Um, it is, it's about 62% funded. Even a dollar helps guys. Like if you could ask your parents or whatever to just help me support my game. It's an open world vehicle simulator. And make sure my spelling is correct. It's an open world vehicle simulator for iOS, Android, Xbox, PS4. So I'm gonna go and spell check this, character equals player.character. So by the time you're watching this video and you know, you're an intermediate scripter, you'll notice that the local player is actually split into two parts. It's the actual player himself and the character. The character model is the physical character. So we're gonna wait till he gets the physical character added to the game. And we're gonna go humanoid root part equals character wait for child so the humanoid part i forgot to add quotes i'm being inconsistent with quotes right now because i thought it would automatically detect it this script is only about 20 lines of code to make a advanced mini map with rotation and everything in 20 lines of code that should auto complete right here if you don't see this auto complete, then you did something wrong and you didn't add it to the, you didn't add it to the storage. Make sure it's replicated storage, not replicated first. And we set the minimap to parent equals workspace. This is just setting up our variables. We're gonna name this local cam equals instance dot new. And let's go and create a camera. So this camera is going to be a local camera and it's going to be the player's personal minimap camera. And the parent is going to be the surface GUI. And the it's going to be scriptable. Scriptable makes it easy conf easily configurable by any script. And that's why we name scriptable, because it's literally scriptable. And the Adorni is going to be the minimap dot primary part so we did not set the primary part so let's go back to the replicated storage let's go and go to that model and let's set the primary part to the minimap now if you do want to make a circle circular minimap when you make that union whatever the circle is oh, oh we also need to set the trans uh, no we don't we also need to um remember that the primary part is whatever you want it to reflect the minimap on and let's go ahead and say script.parent.viewport frame current camera equals cam. What to expect next in my YouTube videos are zombie survive or not a zombie survival game, but a like a modern warfare thing where you could team up with a friend and start your own survival game. It's a round based game. And we're almost done with the script. And we're going to activate the run service, get service. Also, I've noticed a whole bunch of people have been subscribing to my YouTube channel lately. That's highly appreciated. I don't know why this did that. Run service. Highly appreciated. We're almost at 1000 subscribers, everyone. That's going to be huge. Uh, might do like a huge video on that. I uh, just appreciate all the support. Uh, I noticed a lot of people from my YouTube have been donating to Kickstarter. It means so much to me. And let's go ahead and say minimap dot. So colon set primary. So this is not going to auto complete for you. So make sure your spelling is to the T. If you do get any errors before you comment or anything, just make sure you pause the video and 
go ahead and just double check your code. So we need to say the C frame, so that's the actual transform of the object, equals C frame dot angles. So this is like a quaternion. This is how we will rotate the object. So we're gonna go 90 and we need to do a space, comma, zero, zero, and then another space, let me say, times C frame dot new. So you're basically just setting up a quaternion rotation. It's a little advanced. This is probably expert scripting. Negative three. So this negative three is how high the primary part is going to be on the screen or how high your minimap is. So if it's like negative five, it's going to be really high. But if it's like zero, it's going to be right in the middle. But I like negative three. So it's like above like right here, Hold on, like above what I'm where my arrow. I don't know if you can see my mouse thing. Let's go ahead and put that back. Awesome. So our last line of code here is going to be cam dot c frame equals c frame dot new humanoid root part dot position vector three dot new because we're making a new vector three vector vector two is 2d and vector three is obviously 3d and for you, those of you who did not know that and we're going to say humanoid root part dot position and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Go and pause the video now if you do have trouble reading it or anything. Go and zoom that in for you. So this is how it looks. So this is basically declaring variables, setting the parent, creating a new camera, making the camera scriptable. And before we test this out, actually, we're gonna go in back to the viewport frame and make sure to set the size to we're gonna go ahead and make this, and we're gonna make the actual relative to one right here, and the y to one, the secondary y to zero. <laughs> Once you assure that your script does look exactly like this, with all these values, and your viewport frame properties does look exactly like this, I'm scrolling down. And your surface GUI looks exactly like this. I just want to make sure. So I did text, test this on a couple other laptops and I noticed that it sometimes doesn't render properly. It doesn't work and show up. So we're going to actually test this out. And I noticed that if it doesn't show up, I'm going to make this place uncopy locked for sure. So you can, I'll leave a link down below in the description so you can know what's going on. So this is the mini map. As you can see, it's rendering everything. Computer's a little laggy because you know, it's not the fastest. This is the box here. So you're probably wondering, oh, so we're almost done. So you're probably just wondering like, where the heck is our um, player at? I do apologize if you can hear the computer fans. So let's go and make ourselves a player. We're gonna go ahead and insert into the viewport frame a, or yeah, it's gonna insert a frame. The fans are being extremely loud right now. I do apologize for that. And what we're going to do after we insert that viewport frame, let's go and make the background color red. And let's go and make the size pretty small. Uh, I think I'm going to set, I think it's the first value here, 2.5. I think it might be the first value, it might be the second value. It's okay, we're going to try it together right now. Let's go ahead and try that out right now. Okay, well, that definitely did not go as planned. So we're gonna go ahead and now that we have the position or the size, we're gonna go and set that position. Obviously, I did not that literally went through my mind. So obviously the size is way too big off the bat. So we're gonna go and set the size to something a lot different here. So the scale is gonna be like point zero five and the yeah it's like zero five and the position needs to go ahead and be oops it needs to go ahead and set I think the offset of the position needs to be offset um needs to 
know where that came from. 0.5, and I think it's 0.5. Okay. Well, you guys can play around with it. I mean, it's just a mini map right now, so you guys can go and customize it, add it to your map. Let me know what you guys think of it. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Donate to the Kickstarter. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'm going to be making more videos. Comment below what you want. Join the Discord server. You already know all that good stuff. So thank you so much for joining this video today. And I hope you have a great day. So you notice how the, the, uh, the minimap is kind of in the corner. It's okay. You can just fix the positioning. You can play around with that. But it's going to be right in the center. That's how the script is set up. So awesome, everybody. Have a great day.